scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I sincerely apologize. You know we're a very responsible ministry. Sometimes the gadgets just... Um, and develop fault so i really really apologize hallelujah praise the lord john chapter 12 our time is gone there's a lot to do today so i just want to point a scripture and then we'll do some other things tonight is a communion i may not be sharing again our time is gone john chapter 12 verse 32 it's one key that I trust that the Lord will help us. John 12, 32. Let's read it together. One to read. If I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to me. One more time. And I, if I be One of the keys to a life of uncommon exploits. Please sit down. God bless you. Hallelujah. One of the keys to an extraordinary life. Hallelujah. Is to sustain. Please listen. To sustain an understanding first and foremost that your life does not belong to you I know that what I'm going to be sharing is very simple and many of us may not know the implication of it that your life does not belong to you that life is all about stewardship and not ownership there are so many people around who believe their own dreams visions their lives ideas businesses ministries and their egos are on the line they keep themselves depressed because they want to find a meaning for themselves a true believer in christ begins to excel when like john your language becomes that i may decrease are we together so that he will increase our society is full of people who are always under pressure to be known please listen to me i'm sharing with us a very powerful key there is this obsession for fame. There is this obsession for prestige. Men and women fight themselves. We argue with ourselves as to who is greater. The disciples one time walking with Jesus began to ask. They said, Master, you know, who is the greatest among us? And Jesus looked at them. He said, you're already adopting a wrong template. 
but he said he that is greatest among you shall be your minister the word minister is servant hear what jesus said and i if i be lifted up not if joshua selman be lifted up not if koinonia be lifted up believe me brothers and sisters any other agenda you have that is outside of exalting the christ and making his glory revealed is a waste and will only punish you and keep you in frustration from beginning to the end it will always be always be you jesus Oh Jesus, Jesus, nothing else matters, nothing in this world will do, for Jesus you're the center, and everything revolves around. Listen, if you really want God to honor you, the key is to forget about the deceitfulness of vain glory. The deceit that fame and popularity can bring. Does God want you famous? Oh yes. But the key is not to seek it. The key is to seek that Christ alone directly be glorified and God will surprise you beyond your imagination I watch with a lot of shock the way we pressure ourselves looking for fame looking for names it's led audience to all kinds of things pastors we want crowds like this this is the ambition of many people so that I'll tell you where we got that thinking from it's very sincere but it's wrong we came from backgrounds cultural backgrounds territorial backgrounds where we have been faced with this competitive spirit are we together of trying to prove to our contemporaries our loved ones those in our environments that we are successful so um uh, in a, in a very sincere attempt to be great we have found ourselves under pressure not to glorify christ but to prove to everyone around us that we are not failures are we together now it has led us into what the bible calls vain glory the pursuit for mundane things so lord i want money so that by the time I dress well or have a car and a house everybody will know that I'm not a failure do you know one of the ways Satan deceives people is to try to tell you he will give you what God has already given you so he makes you go around trying to do everything there are many young people we want to be rich why so that in-laws and people will not think that you are a, you are a non-entity and it has driven us to all kinds of stupid things there are all kinds of people telling lies wanting to show that we are great people and so you tell a lie you know my father is in the u.s for some reasons he can't come into the country whereas your father is an iron bender somewhere you are not proud of him because you think that by saying my father is this and that you will not be seen as being successful from beginning to the end it will always be always be you Oh Jesus Listen Anything in your life That does not glorify God directly I'm telling you today Is a waste I don't care what it is Money Fame Children Marriage Prestige Accolades Whatever it is Because the Bible says What shall it profit a man he uses a business terminology what shall it profit a man if you gain the whole world and lose your soul he's not endorsing poverty he's not endorsing failure he's only saying that all of these things are only tools 
that you use and men will see Jesus Christ directly glorified in your life. I shared with you my experience with God. Many years ago, the Lord told me this. He said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. That's what the Lord said. Not if you look for fame and a name. No. God is my witness. My passion and my obsession is not to be a man of God and make a name and prove that I'm a successful person. No, far be it from me. I have one desire. Our heart and our desire is to see the nations worship our cry and our prayer is to sing your praise to the ends of the earth that we Try and talk, rejoices our heart and our prayer. This is what this is all about is to see the nations worship you, your kingdom reign. Yes, it reigns through my life, through my life. Lord, your kingdom reigns. Your yes, it reigns. my life oh god in my life let me not live my life in a waste building empires that have no integrity your kingdom reign in my life my Had me teach it again and again. Anna wanted a child, but her purpose of wanting a child was to end the mockery of Penina. Are we together now? The Bible says there were the two wives of Elkanah, and many times Penina would mock Hannah because she was barren. And Hannah went to God, but her motive was never aligned to the kingdom. She wanted to use her ability to give birth to prove that she was a woman indeed. And God said, it's not enough reason for me to give you a child. You may want a child. I cannot let you bring a destiny just to prove a point. What then happens when the point has been proven? Oh God, give me a jeep to shame my enemies. God said, it's too small a reason for me to bless you. Make me a millionaire to silence the mouth of wicked men. God says, it's still too small. A time came, Anna said, Lord, I realize I've been selfish. Here is a new proposal. You need a prophet. Can my womb birth that man child? And God said, deal, done. Once she prayed, once she prayed, and a prophet came. I'll tell you the reason why God does not do business with us. We use God, hear me please, the Holy Ghost is speaking. We use God as a ladder to come out of shame to come out of pain,
to come out of inferiority lord i want anointing he says why he said my contemporaries need to know your hand is upon my life god says you are joking you will never never carry two grace lord i want to get married why because i i want to get out of the stigma of singleness god said my purpose for marriage is bigger than that lord i want to be a millionaire why there is a brother i need to prove wrong your life is too long to live just to prove a point and god says when i look at your life i don't see your obsession for my agenda there is nothing eternal in the motivations of your pursuit are we together i told god something anything you give me and i'm saying it now i don't care what it is if you cannot find where you'll be glorified to it may it never come to my life i don't care what it is hallelujah listen let me tell you something the lord jesus is not a fool he's not a stupid person you don't come to him praying rattling in tongues whereas in your heart God already knows that if I give this man one million, I will never get his attention again. Again. God has done it before. There are people he opened up doors for and he watched. His intention was to bless you more than that. But the little he gave, he kept watching. And right now our lives are Ichabod, the departure of the glory. Hallelujah. If there is any message I want you to get today, this is not a message for men of God. It's a message for those who want to be used mightily by God. There are so many things God wants to do with us. But you must get to that point of obsession where first, your love for God, please listen, listen. I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Until your love for God supersedes your desires, you will never find the hand of God in your life. Lord, I hate poverty. And since I found out in the Bible that coming close to you will make me rich, I now come close to you as a means to an end. You will never be prosperous that way. Hallelujah. Listen, I speak especially towards the young people. Don't allow what is happening in society to fool you. You are not the first to live your life. You are not the first to be blessed or to be prosperous or to pursue success. There is no true success outside of Christ. Not just going to church and trying to be nice. Seriousness. Sisters, I've challenged you. Don't marry anybody that is not serious with God. With traceable transformation. No matter what he tells you. He can have all the jeeps, all the whatever it is. But any man that has passion for the things of the Lord. You know, our society has a, a very insulting way of trivializing godliness. Right? No matter what else you have. If you don't have God, it's a waste. But our society has taken it the other way around. If you have God, no matter what else you don't have, they think you are not successful. This is how much he means to us. Why should I keep what people say? For they don't know what you mean to me. They don't know what you mean to me. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Listen, get to a point in your life where your entire desire is to see him lifted. If God makes you a millionaire businessman, you are a minister in business, not a Sunday Christian doing every other thing. Where when God empowers you, it is for his kingdom. Are we together? If God gives you intellectual prowess, 
is for his kingdom. He gives you beauty for his kingdom. Thank you, sir. He gives you money is for his kingdom. He gives you influence is for his kingdom. Listen, if God knows you will not withhold his glory, he will not withhold his hand from you too. I am amazed. I am amazed to see the little that God has been able to do through my life. You know, when I see it, people send me all kinds of texts. Man of God, apostle of our generation. And I just look at the text and laugh. For you are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God. I'm not interested in anything in this life that I cannot find how it will glorify God. If you cannot show me how it will glorify God, I'm not interested. I don't care what it is. You must get to that point where your life, you donate your life to be a promoter of his interest. Anywhere you get to, you find out, Lord, how are you going to be lifted here? He said, if I... If your life is committed to lifting me, there is nothing I will not give you. If your life is committed to lifting me, I will take you beyond every territorial background. Ah! It was, it was Nathaniel that said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Try donating your life to God and see the wonder he will make out of your life. My life is a wonder. My mom called, okay, well, she didn't call, but she sent me a text. Oh, by the way, my mom said she's praying for everyone and that your prayers will be answered throughout this fasting period. My mom is a very anointed woman. Anointed indeed. She's been following in the fasting. Praying also. She was listening to the message. I think it was yesterday's message and she was just weeping. And I told her, you've not seen anything yet. If you think you are a failure in life, you succeeded in giving birth to me. And that's enough reason to be a success forever. Koinonia, come to a point tonight where Jesus becomes the focal point, the pivot of your life. Listen, there is no such thing as church life and then real life. You know people do that. This is church. They say, look, look, when in Rome, behave like the Romans do. It's not in your Bible. You have to be careful. I'm a child of God anywhere. Right? So you pick up your phone and you put a, a gospel song. And when it is ringing in a business meeting, you quickly off it. So that it doesn't embarrass you because you want to be neutral. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men. Please hear me, Koinonia. If you are ashamed of me before men. He said, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. My appetite and my addiction for God. I don't know what he did to me. I've been captured by a love I can't explain. Now you have me and I'm forever changed. I've abandoned everything I've ever known. Now I surrender. This life is not my own. I belong to you. I belong to you. I belong to you. I belong. Must get to that point that's the first thing i want you to learn come to a point where you are not just born again but you are addicted so you see a pretty lady like this and it's easy to believe that because she's fine my dear if your beauty if god cannot 
see how your beauty directly glorifies him is nonsense is useless as far as the agenda of god is concerned are we together everything not just your education everything that constitutes an advantage in your life must have a direct bearing if you do this i show you the secret of unbeatable greatness god will bring you out of bless you my dear every storm and put you in a position of notoriety because he knows that your being there is for his namesake is god blessing us tonight one of the things we are going to be crying as we round up this period awesome period of fasting and prayer i was talking to the lord yesterday i said lord look at what you have done with your child so many people say all kinds of things during my birthday i was so honored last year we had delegates from over 16 nations calling in to say look this is what your teachings are doing changing people that's what god can do when you believe him when you really love god you will not have time for pride and arrogance it's not the issue of i want to be i'm stopping it there is a revelation that threatens you to humility at all times all times it's a revelation that's why I run away from all these kinds of things because I've seen the deceitfulness of man. He will celebrate you and stab you when you fall. People can clap you into death. So every time they clap, God says, remember you are an usher. Remember our prayer and fasting. And so you lead them and say, there is one who is mightier than I and I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed to know that I am not here for myself. Listen, this is what Jesus said. I can of my own do nothing. The word of God speaking so helpless, I can of my own do nothing. Brothers and sisters, everything you see behind this small life that you see is a product of God's grace. It's the reward of addiction to the kingdom. It's not so much my wisdom. The Bible says, let the wise man not glory in his wisdom right let the strong man not glory in his strength they say but let him that glory yet glory in this many years ago the lord told me my only promise to you is my presence god never promised me a car he never promised me fame he never promised me crowd all he promised me was his presence and he has kept that promise if nothing else works in my life i cannot blame god the promise he made was his presence and moses said if your presence go not with us he said we will not depart from here for how shall they know that we are a separate people the presence of god is the mystery behind the magnificent things god is doing in and through this ministry and tonight i'll share two more things and then we are going to pray and say lord i not only give you my heart i give you my life there is a big difference between giving God your heart and giving God your life. We used to sing a song, remember, my lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. Don't play it. It says, when, Abi, if I give God my lifetime, he will take care of me. Now, that song is not a good bargain for many people. Because they say, Lord, I gave you my lifetime. And I saw the way you shredded me into pieces. We have this idea that when we walk to, with God, we will be cheated. Godliness is profitable. Having the reward here in this life and in the life to come. Number two, the second thing that I want to challenge us is to have a passion for understanding. Please say after me, understanding. Those outside, are you with us? Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Understanding. The Bible says, in all thy getting, get understanding. Understanding tells you the dynamics on how a thing works. Listen. A Jimmy's wife made this beautiful cake. I know the ingredients to make a cake, but I don't understand how it works. At least I know that you need flour, you need egg, you need uh, uh, all the other things are we together but she understands how to work if you want to make fried rice 
I may know how to make fried rice, but I'm not sure I understand it. I know in that fried rice there should be rice. There should be liver. My friend is helping me. There should be liver. Carrots. Now listen. But do I know how much of liver? No. Do I know when to put the liver? No. If you give me all those ingredients, let me tell you what I'll do. I will mix everything at once and close it. And the next time I open that pot, I'm lifting it. I don't cook. I don't cook. It's not my ministry. That's the reason why I'm determined to be successful. Because I know that when I'm successful, that lapse will be covered in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, but let, let's get back to our point. Understanding. Listen, we know many things, but we do not know how to combine them to be successful. You know there is a place of destiny helpers. You know there is a place of fasting and prayer. Are we together? You know there is a place of warfare. You know there is a place of giving and sacrifice. But do you know how to combine them to produce an unbeatable life? We need to pray for understanding. It's not everything that is just the blood of Jesus. It's not everything that is just prayer. For instance, finances is not just the issue of prayer. Prayer gives you wisdom. Finances is a covenant. It's an understanding. Right? He said, thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee the power, the anointing, the unction to prosper. There is such a thing. The Bible says, and I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. You know that what it takes to do ministry, there is a place for leadership and organization. There is a place for the anointing, right? There is a place for people's skills. There is a place for endurance and persistence. There is a place for, for um, competence in the world. But do you know how to combine them together? Many of us right now, our problem is not ignorance. Our problem is understanding of the operation of the systems of the kingdom. How? To make things work is really revelation. Not that you are aware. Knowing what God has said is not revelation. Knowing how to make it produce results in your life. Consistent results is understanding. Tell your neighbor, get understanding. This is what we have been doing. We've been praying and fasting. And we have been taking a thought, a dimension of the keys of the kingdom just approaching it the place of power the place of destiny help us the place of favor you must passionately pray and ask the lord to give it to you as a personal revelation lord show me if you were to draw a pie chart for me how much percentage of my life should be dedicated in building relationships how many should be dedicated in the place of knowledge how much should be dedicated in warfare? There are people who all they do in their life is to fight warfare. They fight warfare until they are frustrated. They hold night vigils every day. You see, they have stretched the truth beyond its limit of operation. The truths in the kingdom are dimensional. It only profits you when you apply the kingdom uh, within the confines of its relevance. That it is truth does not mean it's applicable anyhow. You must define the boundaries to which his application becomes relevant. Are we together? There is a place tithing and giving holds in kingdom wealth. But it's not just tithing and giving alone. Are we together now? Yeah. If all you do is tithe and give, favor will come. But you do not have wisdom. A house is not built by favor. Through wisdom. A house is built and by understanding it is established. He said through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasure. So we need to know how to combine the correct ingredients and you will make for an unbeatable life. Number three. Maybe I'll just say that and then I'll stop there. Number three. I have emphasized it again and again. The Bible says for as he thinketh in his heart so is he listen there is the place of your mentality your mindset your paradigm 
Mindsets are conditionings. Mindsets are perspectives. Mindsets are opinions. Mindsets are constructions, planes, perspectives of judgment. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, let this mind, there was an understanding, there was a, a mental state that Jesus was in. That's why he succeeded. And the Bible says, permit it to be in you in the same way it was with Jesus Christ. When God called Abraham, he was a man who was in a place called Ai of the Chaldeans. He was an idol worshiper. And based on his mindset and understanding, there were certain things that were impossible. And God needed to stretch his mind. Look at me, please. You can get my message pulling down strongholds. I have seen as a leader, as a man of God, how many great people potentially have been limited because they cannot tear that mental barrier to give them space to be used by God. Scattered among us here are all kinds of people. Hallelujah. Please, I need two people here. Where is promise? Where is Charles? Charles protocol. Can you come? Please, quickly. Hallelujah. I want to use them as an example. Wherever he is, if he's within reach, let him come. I want to use him as an example. If your mindset does not change, your life cannot move forward. Please, this is not some psychology, sociological reality. Unfortunately, we come from backgrounds where there are conditionings over our minds. There are people, for instance, who have been taught. Listen, there are people who have been taught that you will never succeed. You will never amount to anything. You came from a background where everybody was a failure. And that conditioning has been there. I am a failure. I don't expect to succeed. I don't expect things to work for me. Do you know the Bible says in Psalms, I think 78, 41 or so. It says they limited him in the wilderness. Hallelujah. I want to use these two gentlemen. Please don't be offended. I've used them again and again because they are great people. Where is Francis? Can you join him, please? Francis, your friend. Where is he? Come, 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 quickly. Appreciate him. Do you mind if I share your testimony again? <laughs> Look what he's doing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I spoke to you about this guy. He came to Zaria with dreadlocks. Dreadlocks and earrings. That's how he came into the city. Can you imagine? This is the assistant head of prayer department. The prayer department. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Believe me, he was not a bad boy. He was a victim of an understanding. Because he probably grew up in an environment and where he was schooling before, the occult groups taught that if you were a capon, right? Then they associated violence and rebellion with greatness. Listen, life is always proposing an ideology to you about a true definition of success. And you must return to the word of God and re-edit your template, your value system. Look at his life right now. A testament of a transformed mind. Let me tell you a very funny story. Thank you, sir. This gentleman, you mind if I share your testimony? Now, let me tell you how he came to this ministry. He saw a lady that he liked. He was an occultist. Came all the way from another state. Listen. Oh, he's very born again, I can tell you. Born again and successful. And wealthy as a matter of fact. Hallelujah. He saw a lady. One of my ladies. And saw her and said, Ah! You know, all these occultic things and so on and so forth. And as he followed her, she gladly led him. Just keep coming. He was like a sheep to the slaughter, not knowing what was going to happen to him. Listen, that's beauty used for the kingdom. I'm not saying you go to a beer parlor and tell somebody, follow me. God did not send you there. Let me balance it up front. Because I can't assume, in our generation today, you must explain everything. Everything. Praise the Lord. And this is what happened. It was you that brought him, right? Now, this guy came that night. He got born again. 
filled with the Holy Spirit, transformed completely that night. His friends gave him seven days to return back to his lifestyle. Seven days have become over six or seven years or thereabout. Never to return again. He was so impacted, he went and dragged this one and said, just come. Are we together now? I'm not sure this guy had an idea what was going to happen to him. And he dragged him and brought him. Let me tell you what happens in this place. You are first saved and the next mission is your mental transformation. Until your ideology is changed, you are not really born again. Believe me when I tell you this. See what God has made. They are serving in the body, doing great things for the kingdom. These are the guys responsible for your bosses. They have a direct... Did you know he could not speak Hausa? But he speaks Hausa right now because he had to learn it so that he will be effective as the, as the boss coordinator. Can you imagine that? That's passion for the kingdom. And I pray, guys, may God bless you. I love you with all my heart. May God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Who is your life changing? From the time they came into your life, have their understandings changed? Now, you see, we, we, that you are well-meaning does not mean you are transformed. Separate being nice societally. I don't steal, I don't kill, I don't fornicate. It's not the same as transformation. Transformation is the process that makes you like Christ. And it is not a gift, it's a reward. You will labor to get into that state. Transformation requires admitting that something about your thinking is destroying your life. There are people who are born again, but they are greedy. There are people who are born again, but they are angry. I counsel a lot of people. And sometimes you see couples. I remember one couple, very interesting. Uh, I mean, and they had been married for a while. Not just two years, five years. And they fought. They fought. Police had to come and stop them. So two of them said they were coming to report themselves. And they booked for counseling. Husband and wife. Two of them sat down. Madam, what's the problem? This man does not respect me. And she was just landing it. And the man kept quiet. When I finished, said, Man of God, you are seeing what made me beat this woman. And the truth is, both of them love themselves. But everybody was coming with the idea of his territory. Somebody told that guy, When you beat your wife, she will respect you. Are you getting that information? He stored it in his pocket. Somebody told the lady, if you are weak to a man, he will disrespect you. If he punches you, you roll your hand and punch him back. So, listen, all of them are executing their ideologies. There are pastors who believe their thinking is that if you want to be rich, be a pastor. Because you will receive prophets, offering, etc. You see that? So, their ideology led them to fast for 40 days. They created names. They created protocol. Are we together now? Very important. Listen. Let this mind that I have labored and I still do with all my heart. I don't trust myself outside of the word of God. I don't even know what I can become. I started a project years ago. Not a project to become a preacher. Because when I contrasted the word of God to my mindset, I was, I was messed up in almost everything. My understanding of leadership, my understanding of ministry, my understanding of almost everything. The pastors that trained me, did not teach me prosperity was a blessing from God. They sang songs like, take the world and give me Jesus. No, no, I won't sing that song at all. I, I, my heart is to God, but I realize that prosperity is an important tool in kingdom building. And I will never mislead you. I'm not apologetic about it. Poverty and prosperity, which one is better? Don't let a poor man who has never been blessed carry his stumbling block and come to you and tell you, you see how simple my life is. You are, if you are healed, you are healed for yourself. If you are saved, you are saved for yourself. Only prosperity is shareable. That's why Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church. The gospel is free, but the means to carry it to the lost is not free. Are we together now? Yeah. Your mindset something about your village something about the thinking your upbringing there are ladies here for instance our mothers though well-meaning and sincere have taught us that when you want to get money from a man do abc 
men are very stupid people this is how to collect money from them you are born again you pray in tongues but that mindset is still in you are we together there are people who still do what i call traditional christianity they love god but when the going gets tough they call you and say come home and you know what that means come home means revisit your roots and you go back and they give you your husband in a bottle they carve clear and put it inside and say for as long as you are holding this bottle this is your husband do with him as you please i have counseled people who brought charms i mean they removed it and said man of god i won't lie to you this is it i said what is this for say for money and i said boy you don't look rich meaning it's not working <laughs> oh or this one is for um I, I remember counseling some ladies now this is not to condemn you true story they may even be here don't feel offended some ladies who said they, they went was it zaria city to collect something true story something like a powder or something you you rub it i don't know if it's the, you rub it or bath with it and any man that sees you no matter what is except he's really born again indeed with a track record in the spirit otherwise he will follow you like a sheep and i looked at them i said you mean this is what you are doing to yourself something in your mind is limiting your destiny right now hallelujah i began a project to change my mind there were some things i never saw growing up i knew that if i needed to be a global leader there was a thinking africa teaches us to be mediocre and failures our mentality in africa is comparing with our, ourselves with ourselves they say i'm a family of seven people and right now i'm the first person to buy a pujo and we keep making noise over it whereas god is saying there are great things i want to do with you please that mindset must die tonight there are even territories associated with certain levels of mediocrity have you heard people say that men from this place they are irresponsible women from this place they are uh, uh, what they are, they are immoral you can change that in the name of jesus christ I know that the people from from my village the core people in the village i grew up knowing that they used to drink drink seriously why i don't know but i reject that testimony count me out i'm not part of it are we together now don't say because i grew up seeing it happen you grew up seeing people oppress people to be blessed but you're going to change and say no my mind has changed my mind has changed based on the power of the word of god i found out that jesus was not the jesus that was taught in the bible the jesus pastors preach as a wicked cruel god out to kill and destroy people but my bible says it is the thief that comes to steal and kill and to destroy i never give up on people no matter what has happened because the bible says there is hope for a tree he said at the scent of water never give up on people We are going to pray but i'm challenging us especially with the young people there is a mindset we must change and the bible says by the truth by the truth something about your conditioning will make you fail in life if you don't change it something about your understanding may make you a bad father a bad mother that you are well-meaning is not enough you must have the mind of christ please lay your hands on your head and say in spite of the mindset of my culture in spite of my background in spite of the limitations of nigeria and my territory i change my mindset i declare that i come from a kingdom that is foreign to this earth and I refuse to be limited in the name of Jesus years ago when God was showing me the visions of the things that are happening today I saw these things and they were great and brothers and sisters half of this have not even come to pass what you see now is child's play it's just one step out of the cave hallelujah and God showed me these things but he was waiting for me to agree with him please come Ejimi. listen this is god saying Ejimi, see how far 
he said as far as your eyes can see but Ejimi is standing oh I come from a background I come from Ijebode there is a limitation there are all kinds of things and God is saying I can do so much with you I can smash that barrier you say Lord I went to school at 25 when my colleagues are doing masters that's when I'm passing jam and God is saying no Abraham started his ministry almost 75 years old are we together change your mindset change your mindset change your mentality change your understanding I made up my mind listen I made up my mind that there are things Africa will never limit in my life there are things in my mind and beyond the spheres of this place it's not pride it's the truth I didn't get it just by prayer he said I Daniel understood by books there is a labor of knowledge I've studied the largest churches in every continent studied them carefully Forbes list of billionaires I've studied all of them one by one it's not just prayer please I'm telling you you must agree that something you know is limiting you when it was time to set up Covenant University Bishop Oyeriko sent delegates to comprehensively study Cambridge Yale Harvard right and, and which Oxford I think these four or five top universities and then he now added a kingdom dimension to their limitation and said this becomes a structure of our, our university koinonia is patterned after an understanding there is somewhere we are going we have seen that it's possible to combine the anointing with excellence and we are striving to increase that you you should not choose one and leave the other God wants to do great things with you and today he's asking you do you believe I used to say it when we used to meet um, on the floor that time we did not even have mat on the floor that we are all going to be great in this life and the beautiful part is that we we'll all know ourselves people of God there is more that God wants to do say there is more that God can do with my life I refuse to be a local champion say it I refuse to be a local champion Ejimi's wife had been making cakes long before she got married she's been making cakes but she made up her mind that she wanted to be world class and I got to find out that all her time in Lagos she had dedicated this is an economist but because this was the area of her passion she started taking certifications UK based certifications and all kinds of certifications to be extraordinary the fruit of it is what we are seeing today who is ready to pay you for your transformation have you been so developed that you become priceless this can't be it God is so much bigger than these prophesy to yourself this can't be it this can't be it he is so much bigger than this so he's calling you deeper that's what he's saying deeper Calling you deeper, deeper, it's calling you deeper. You know why we are not celebrating Koinonia now? My concept of birthdays is not that you were born, is that you are living out the purpose for being born. I am personally convinced that nobody has a right to celebrate birthday until you know why you are on earth and your life is experientially blessing people. A day will come we'll make noise about Koinonia when we build the schools. Remember I told you about our schools. My goodness, bring your children to our schools. Yes, we are adding three extra courses. Spiritual growth, a course called Koinonia and financial intelligence. Every student, they will learn it from primary school. Hallelujah. 
Yes. Part of spiritual growth will introduce a program called honesty, morality, and conscience. We have a society that numbs conscience. You kill somebody and say it does not matter. The end justifies the means. No, sir. A Christian, the process to the result is as important as the result. When we launch the TV stations and we are doing great things, we can turn and then pat our back. Now we will lie to ourselves because compared to where God is taking us, it's a step out of the cave. People are already clapping. And I told God, block my ears in Jesus' name. Block my ears. You need to learn to challenge yourself. Raise standards. Don't say I'm better than somebody. No, that's a foolish way of progress. The Bible says, and they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise. We used to sing a song when we were preparing for our crusade. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Listen, if you wanted me to cry, raise that song. That was the song that brought tears from my eyes. Because every time they raised the song, I saw nations. The Bible didn't say you are a village. It said you are a city. You may start from where you are, but don't die where you are. You started from Zaria. Oh, my father is a carpenter. My mother was frying a car. So what? The Bible says, ask for the nations and I will give you. I'm speaking to people here. We are going to pray. Ask and I'll give the nations to you, oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart, distant shores and the islands to see your eyes, as it rises on us. One more time. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Listen, you must challenge yourself to be exceptional. Listen, listen. Sandra just came in this evening. I was very touched when she came in. Something very remarkable happened. This lady you are seeing within three months has done three jobs. She works directly with the house of assembly. It's not about lobbying. It's the power of competence and the keys of the kingdom. It was their official card that brought her to Zaria. But people say there is no job. It depends on what your understanding is. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. Don't let this country cheat you. People are shouting the dollar, the pound. Even those who have never seen it are already victims of it. Hallelujah. It was a humorous story. Please permit me to share. One of her former bosses where she was working started doing some funny things like wanting to sleep with her or something. And, and you, know, all, you know all these men that behave as if their head are not correct. May God punish anyone that wants to destroy the destiny of anybody in the name of Jesus Christ. You are entitled to one wife and God designed it to be enough. Anything more than that, you need deliverance. Say amen. amen. If there's anybody, our fathers, mothers, who are planning another marriage in the name that is above all names, we cancel it right now. Amen. Hallelujah. I just felt like pressing that one in so that we don't let it just pass like that. And listen, the moment... Thank you very much. She has an understanding that you cannot be disadvantaged. It's a mentality. As that one was trying to play all of that nonsense, another one came, born again, honorable member. And he looked at her in 24 hours. She got a new job, upgraded with salary and everything. Brothers and sisters, listen. This thing will work for you if you know how to work it. If, if you think what is happening, people are just talking. No, sir. I think it was Pastor Alpha when you started your PhD. They get, I mean, it was, it was challenging over scholarship and this. But you can see him coming here. He's doing his PhD. And he's on, I think you're on scholarship. He's on scholarship from University of Joss. And he's just enjoying life. See, I like you to say it must happen differently with me. Refuse that thing of 
of, of the way it's happening to everybody. No, there is an anointing upon you. Remember, there is an anointing upon you. Please, we are going to rise up and we'll pray. We are rounding this up. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. Status is changing. Status is changing. It's no more decline. It's no more decline. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to better days. Day. The Lord is hearing you. My status is changing. It's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. points i like us to pray please let's have the communion we have to be very fast because i want to speak there are destinies that must open up today hallelujah prayer point number one lord a fresh passion for you above beyond money faith ministry business going on here lift your voice and pray lord a fresh passion a fresh passion Shake it back at Baba Baba Baba. Coin on your brain. Shake it back at the better rocks. A fresh passion. You, O oh Lord, at my desire. I desire you more than my necessary food. Oh, better is one day in your house than a thousand elsewhere. Pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 5. Hallelujah. Revelations 5. Please, I'd like us to be sensitive. The communion is a mystery. Jesus said, Except ye eat of my body and drink of my blood he said you cannot have my life the communion is a mystery we're going to do we'll be very very fast as soon as we do this our prayer request as instructed by god now we'll collect it in twofold but that's Maybe when we are praying, we'll be doing that so that we can have it. Ushers, please make sure you get ready. The ones that represent your challenges, according to Exodus 14, 14. I'd like you to pass it first because we are going to burn it right now. That's the instruction that the Lord gave, please. And then the ones that represent your testimonies. When you give that one, I'll ask you to forward that one and we'll pray on it here. Just like we do the miracle service. Please, ushers, quickly. Quickly, you have to be very fast. Our time is gone. While you're holding it, I'd like you to begin to pray and say the blood of Jesus is ending this captivity in my life forever. Please pray from the depth of your heart. Pray. The Bible says the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit for they are spiritually discerned. The Lord gave us an instruction. Please just pass it round. The one that represents challenges, pass it to the last person so that the ushers will receive it. Just the challenges, just the challenges. There are two requests. Your expectations, your challenges, pass the challenges very quickly. Hallelujah. 
Revelations 5 verse 12 saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb not worthy is the king not worthy is Jesus there is a dimension he used to purchase these things for us and is that dimension as a lamb the lamb that was what slain it was on account of his being slain on account of his blood worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive he has received for us power riches wisdom strength honor glory and blessing notice it did not say blessings it says blessing now look up please i want you to be sensitive the blessing is an operation of the holy spirit upon a man's life please listen the blessing is different from blessings the blessing is an operation of the holy spirit it's like an anointing when it comes upon your life like a mantle the assignment of the blessing is to compel creation to respond to you as though you were in the garden of eden please listen when god made man he blessed them when the flood came god blessed noah it was it was um isaac that said make me venison that i will eat that my soul will rejoice that i may bless you what did he give jacob that when esau came he said there's nothing left how did he know it had left him listen the blessing is transferable you can carry it bodily God opened my eyes to this revelation and it surprised me. Hallelujah. The blessing does three things. Number one, it attracts people, it attracts resources, and it attracts opportunities. Never forget this. The blessing on you mysteriously but undeniably begins to attract people he said all men seek for thee that's what they told jesus all men seek for thee the blessing can make your critics bless you although they are talking against you the blessing can make people you do not know he said your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the gentiles hallelujah we are going to pray and say lord as i partake of this communion every every pronouncement every cause of negativism over my life the blessing will take it away today forever lift your voice and pray please lift your voice and pray the blessing is coming upon me Blessing will change my life. The blessing will veto the limitations of my background and take me to another dimension. Please pray be a believer. It doesn't take time, it takes the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Now I'm going to bless the communion. This is ordinary wine and wafers. But the Bible says, is this not the cup of the blessing? The cup of the blessing. There is a mystery. It gives you access to receive that mantle. I have seen the blessing work. I know it works. Hallelujah. Now we have to be very fast. There are several overflows. And please, I need you to cooperate with all the people leading there. We're going to be very, very fast. You will come, pick the cup and the wafers and drop it. If there's anyone under the anointing, ushers, please, as they fall under the anointing, shift them away so that we can hurry up on this. We have just about 10 or so minutes to do this because we need to prophesy. Something must come upon your life. Hallelujah. Immediately after that, please prepare. While worship is going on, we'll raise high praise for two to five minutes. 
and then we'll burn those things and we'll speak father in the name of jesus this is ordinary wafers i stretch my hands over this and the ones outside in all of the overflows one two three outside down to the roadside let this lose its earthly significance as wafers and wine i pray the bible says in hosea chapter 12 it says i have multiplied visions i have spoken to you through the prophets he said i have used similitudes may the power of the highest the power that is responsible for performance come upon these wafers come upon this wine in the name of jesus that everyone who partakes by faith may they step into a strange order of the blessing in the name of jesus god bless you there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain Please, let's have... come and just take some your seats break every chain break every chain break every chain there is power there is power Everyone should partake of the communion. Everyone, including children, if you can give them, please give it to them. God bless you. Can we hope we have to be very fast? Please, very fast. Just pick one and then make your way very quickly. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. They will break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. What's happening there? Why the delay? Please stand back let our parents come protocol you are just watching you should direct them please break every chain 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 there's an army there's an army rising there's an army There's an army rising now. They will break every chain. 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 Casting crowns. Lifting hands. Pulling arms. What I've come to do I'd like you to begin to pray in tongues. Pray in tongues for what is coming upon you. Pray in tongues in the spirit. Go ahead and begin to pray as you return back to your seat. Please, we have to be fast. Just pick the wine, the bread, and then you can give way for others. There is an anointing upon it.
please as you walk just come out very fast we have to be very fast beautiful you are wonderful you've been you are glorious faithful in all your ways my help and my reward you are glorious my God beautiful you are wonderful you be you are glorious please pray and say lord something must land upon my life tonight an anointing must come upon me an unction from the holy one must swallow up every challenge in my life pray like a believer that you are pray like a believer that you are shikete barada 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 you are able to change the stories of men, oh God. You are able to change the stories of men.
Communion is here to come. Just be patient and pray. You can take the bread and just be patient. Please, if the welfare need help, can we have some hands to help them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I command the gates that hold the next level of my life be open now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Please pray from your heart. Command the gates. And the gates kapa superadaba, zikete kete pras karababa, supere kuto supere dis kalaba, brands kapa rato shoto prete kete. Gates be open, be open, be open, be open. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say after me in the name of Jesus, every cause of hardship, my family, my loved ones, by the mystery of the blood. I bring it to an end right now. Lift your foot and begin to pray. The cause of hardship, the cause of pain, the cause of sorrow, the cause of pain, the cause of sorrow. Loved ones, we bring it to an end. We bring it to an end. We bring it to an end by the power. We bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. We bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. We bring it to an end. We bring it to an end. By the power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant. To knowingly or knowingly, it is responsible for the failures in my life. To blood, I declare this proof. Come on, every covenant, every offense of darkness that I've been involved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to take authority over every sickness. Every strange manifestation in your body. The Bible says your body, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Every tree that has not been planted by my father tonight the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus no sickness 
greatness. HIV must leave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing the sound of padlocks. That's what I'm hearing in my ears. Please, I like you to be very sensitive now. I want to pray for you, inside and outside. We have prayed. The number eight stands for new beginning. It must leave you. Everything that has not been by the ordinances of heaven it must leave you right now lift your hands as i pray for you i tell you the fire of god will fall in this place please shift all these things our time is almost up but we must deal with these things when i finish praying at the count of three i like you to shout jesus with all your heart i hear sounds like an opening of a padlock This apostolic anointing, every gate, every altar, every destiny, every family, of the bridge, of the youths, every fraternity, the activities of necromancers, the development destinies, I declare that I Hallelujah. I see at least 30 ladies, 30, 30 sisters, strange things that come to you in the night as you sleep. Right now, as I begin to pray, the fire will begin to set you free. Right now, look, 30 of them, at least they are waiting. entity. Hallelujah. 
Please lift your hands. The power of God is still falling. I see God doing a lot of things with ladies. Ladies especially. Ladies. Sisters. Sisters. Strange spirits that oppress the destinies of people. Strange spirits that tie down people. Sisters at the count of three. As you shout Jesus, I see the being of Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. The Lord is showing me the cause of death over certain families. I see at least 13 families. It's like a mantle. People die strangely. Keep your hands lifted. I'm about to pray right now. Father, wherever you are, right now, you spirit of Shout that name Jesus at the count of three. I'm seeing chains of people's foot outside. Chains. And the to release you to deliver. I'm three. find them hallelujah I want to pray for you this is an impartation now this is not deliverance this is going to come mighty on many of us listen there is an anointing that makes men succeed you have prayed there is an anointing that makes men succeed bring this gentleman this is madness that's what I'm saying. Leave him right now. I command you. You must go. Right now. And never return. Restore the fortunes of his family. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. For there is a name that is above every other name. Let him go free in the name of Jesus. Please. If you miss this, you have wasted your fast. This is the time I want you to open up your heart. We have to suspend the number. Of, help them please so they don't enjoy themselves. We have to suspend the number of things right now. Because we are supposed to be praying on the request. I don't want to keep us too long here. But you have to receive this. There is an empowerment that can change a man's life. Please listen. Hear me when I tell you there is an anointing that can change a man. It's not by might. It's not by power. I want you to receive this with all your heart. There will be a mighty impartation. Lift your hands. Father, there is nothing I have that did not come from you. Your people have fasted. They have prayed. It's time for them to enter unusual levels of accomplishments. 
I stand upon this election of grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ in my life at the count of three let the heavens be open and let there be strange impartations for the heads of department please where are you quickly just come up here there is an anointing upon me don't stop don't stop be sensitive please in the name of Jesus you will step into strange levels of grace join them it's not by might it's not by power in the name of Jesus greater fire greater grace step into new dimensions of wisdom fire in the name of Jesus drink of the of the spirit greater levels greater fire in the name of Jesus greater fire can I pray for you a new level of what 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 said the spirit of I bring you to a new level a new dimension of what and grace in the name of Jesus please lift your hands I pray you the anointing to pray is going to hit some of you like a tornado. My God, stand up. It's a public anointing. Hallelujah. I pray for you. The mantle of honor. There is a mantle of honor in this ministry. I want to release it upon you. It's not something you beg for. There is a mantle. The Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I pray for you. At least. Hallelujah. Worship team, hold your hands. I see a fresh unction for psalmistry. Hold your hands. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the instrumentals to everybody. Right now, that fire comes on you. One by one, as I stretch my hands. to you everything that was lost shall be returned to you everything that was stolen shall be restored to you everything that was lost hallelujah Ralph lift your hands there is a mantle of success coming upon you right now Take it right now in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same you're a military man you're a pastor but God is about to distinguish you. I see a connection with generals. Generals in the army. The Lord is saying that's what he's doing for you. He will do it by his spirit. He will do it by his grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Where are they? Okay, come Victor quickly. Yerima, come quickly. Okay, they are the heads of departments left. You will step into new levels. It's not by power. It's not by might. Step into that strange dimension of the spirit. Right now in the name of Jesus. New dimensions of creativity. New dimensions of power. New dimensions of power. I pray for those who are students here. Hallelujah. Everyone here marked for death. Marked for death. Pastor Femi, the Lord is visiting your family. I see an altar of fire. That's what I'm seeing. An altar. This altar has tied down your family. I'm seeing particularly your father. Your father. This altar has tied him down. Tied him down. Nothing he does prospers. But the Lord is saying, I'm changing it. I'm changing it. Listen. I don't care what you have lost. In the name that is above all names. I pray for you. Pursue. here nine months from now return with your miracle children every important man here return with your miracle children hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done i want to release this unction of favor there is an anointing for favor Please believe me, you argue this life will punish you in a serious way. There is an anointing for favor. He said, I will lose the loins of kings. You will suck the breast of kings. That's what the Bible says. Lord, I pray the mysterious anointing upon this ministry that commands unusual favor. I pray for you wherever you are, like fire, it comes upon you now. Take it, take it, take it. Now receive it. Receive it inside out. Like a garment. Wait like a garment. Hallelujah. Now I want to release the blessing. My life is a product of the blessing. It's an operation of the spirit that attracts people. That's what is responsible for this crowd you're seeing. I cannot fully explain it, but I know that it's dangerously mysterious. It's an anointing that gives you access, uncommon access. I have met kings. I have met politicians. I have met noble men. I have met billionaires. I have met strange men. Brothers and sisters, I will lie to you if I tell you it's just because my name is Joshua Selman. There is such an anointing. I want to release it upon you. It's called the blessing. I pray for you. My God and my King, I stand upon my bare foot tonight. The name that is above all names as touching this anointing God has given me a count of three kill your potential I'm seeing books and I'm seeing a spirit sitting on it this is what I'm seeing books and 
had seen a spirit sitting on us. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. It's I declare the opening of the gates of destiny for you. Receive the blessing. So let me tell you tonight, if things are not going right, don't pretend they are going right. Fight it out here. We are, going, are you getting what I'm saying? Please. This is why God prepared this meeting. Don't come and waste your time. The Lord specifically kept speaking to me that tonight is dedicated for families. No matter how you are doing well, if your family is not doing well, you are not fine. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So don't let anybody just distract you and make it look like you're wasting your time. Hallelujah. Ella, come, let me pray for you so that your mother will not be told that she's sick. Lord, I destroy any yoke of sickness over her mom's life in the name of Jesus. This lady, you that tied something forward, no, 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 this one, yes, come, 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 come. Just let me pray for you. Is it Gozier or Chi Gozier? Something that has, it's like an Igbo name, it has Gozier in it. I know there's I.E. Gozier or something like that. Is there anyone like that? Whether I, I don't know if it's your name or son name or something, but I'm saying a Gozier. The Lord is asking me to pray for you, and He's saying He's bringing restoration to your family. In the name of Jesus, He's bringing restoration to your family. He's bringing restoration to your family. What's your name? Eh? Anosier. Yes. Okay, I saw something. Gozier. Okay, come. Let me pray for you. Where are you coming from? Mina. Mina. Yes. All the way from Mina. Yes. What do you do? I'm a master student. Mina. Let me pray for you. There are doors that the Lord wants to open for you. But it will have to be by prophecy. It will not just open like that. Father, let those doors be open right now. By the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that those doors of limitations are open right now for you. In the name of Jesus. Jennifer. Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. 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 Is that your name? You are Jennifer. No, this is not just this Jennifer. I will talk to you, but Jenny, anybody, other person with the name Jennifer? You are Jennifer. Who else is Jennifer? Not a name you know alone, a name that everybody knows you as Jennifer. Please don't just stand up and come carelessly. Think about what we're saying. Who is you're all Jennifer? Who is from Kaduna? You are from Kaduna. I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, lay your hands on your stomach. There will be no death in your families. The sound of death will not be heard. Out! That devil of death. You will leave her family right now. Because I'm seeing that there would have been a lamentation August 7th. But in the name of Jesus, we cancel it by the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. There will be no death. There will be no death. There will be no death. There will be no death in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you? The Lord is bringing healing. Healing to somebody in your family. Healing to someone in your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your mother is from Kaduna. Your mom is from Kaduna. Who is from Kataf? Zango Kataf. Your mother is from Zango Kataf. Let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that the limitation over this family be lifted right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Ada, is it Adamu? Adamu? There is Adamu. I don't know if it's your name. Son name, Adamu. Adamu. Your name is Adamu. Your son name, 
Yes, Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are? Kogi State. Kogi State. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from now? A mantle. A mantle. You love God very well. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes. If God tells you he wants to use you, will you allow him to use you? Yes, sir. Because there are so many things God wants to do in and through your life. I hear my spirit, the rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord says, I should tell you that I will do mighty things in and through you. For the stone that was rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord brings a visitation to your life. You will go through series of spiritual experiences. Father, let there be a birthing. Hold my hands. Change him, oh God. The first thing that will happen to you is a circumcision. The pruning of the old. I cast the spirit that stops you from walking with God. Let it leave now. For he will not pour new wine in an old wine skin. I cause that spirit. Give way for the king to come into his life. Please bring him up. Lord, let the prophetic teaching anointing come upon him. Make him a mighty man. Put a hunger and a desire in his heart for your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Outside, there is somebody I want to speak to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord outside towards the extreme back. The power of God is going to come upon one person there mightily. Please let the ushers bring the person. I need to speak to the person. Outside, towards the back, towards the end part, the power of God will come mightily and strong upon one person there. For I will make you like Deborah, said the Spirit of God. I will make you a mighty warrior, said the Spirit of God. Today I lift away from your life the distractions. Distractions. The Lord is taking away distractions from your life. Distractions. Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. So let us therefore lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and run with perseverance the race hallelujah stand behind her i'm seeing the power of god coming on her i don't know what it is for but the anointing of the spirit is coming strong upon her there is something god is taking out of her family no the usher not even the lady you usher god is taking away something out of your life Hallelujah. Emmanuel, come.
Keturah, the Lord is lifting darkness from your family. The Lord is lifting darkness from your family. Darkness from your family. It must roll away now. It's lifting darkness from your family. Amaka and Adora, come. Come quickly, quickly. The Spirit of the Lord says, I should tell you the feast of new things. The feast of new things. Hold hands together. The feast of new things. The feast of new things. The feast of new things. Ah, He will wipe away that which is of the old. And he will bring you into the new. The Lord says, I should tell you the feast of new things. I am doing a feast of new things. Bringing into your life a feast of new things. A feast of new things. The anointing of the Spirit will make this happen. Let it flow to you right now. And change you. Change you. Change you. Change you. Your father is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Please, where is the person? In Zaria here, not outside of Zaria. A police officer in Zaria here. love the Lord with all your heart and the Lord will use you but there are many things that need to be pruned there are distractions in your life distractions your name is Emmanuel and it means God is with you there are distractions little things sway you your life is too emotional to walk with God. You need stability. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I impart upon you strength in your spirit, man. Strength. Take it now. The strength of the spirit. It will come upon you strongly. I've laid hands on you. You will never be able to be weak and dwindle around again. Come upon you. Messi Tila, come quickly. There are weights that must be broken. The Spirit of God says, Weights, weights, they must be broken. Weights, they must be broken. Cares and weights and worries. Cast your cares before the Lord because the Lord wants to do great things in your life, but there are weights. Wait, wait. There are weights. Oh God, may those weights give way right now. In the name of Jesus. Ken, an angel is standing close to you. And I'm seeing oil being poured upon you. And the Lord is saying, again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Lord, let that oil be poured upon him for his family. The Lord is saying, again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. That's what the Lord is saying. Again, I will visit your family. And this time around, it will be with power. Again, I will visit your family. My dear, may the Lord anoint you 
is an anointing that is coming upon you. May the Lord anoint you. You are weak in the spirit. I strengthen you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, you took my pain away. And then you give me joy You're my peace, my melody In the center of the storm You gave me a brand new song To sing to you That's why I will lift up my voice And say yeah, 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 yeah. The Lord is giving you beauty for ashes Beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, and a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. What's wrong with him? Help her with the mic. No mic. What's wrong with him? Huh? SS. SS. This is not the situation. I'll pray for him, but in fact, this this is a baby it's not even somebody as old as this this is somebody within the age range of maybe a small child that is sick i don't know if it's inside or outside the lord wants to heal that person right now. go dear go dear go dear Come, your breakthrough has come. Yeah, yeah. Where are you coming from? Samaru. You believe Jesus will touch you right now? You believe that? Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. And other things. You know what I'm talking about, right? Listen, you have to give God everything. Everything. I'm not talking of born again. Everything. Total surrender. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's no one leg in, one leg out. It has to be completely all for him. Hold my hands and let me pray for you. You all go there. I'll pray for you. Will you let her go now in the name of Jesus? I see you in the spirit. You will let her go now. I'm speaking to this other lady. Don't worry, she may not be looking at me. I'm not talking to her. Release her family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cause darkness. I cause darkness over the family. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. From every power that is not of God. Madam. I'll, there will be a prayer session and I'll pray for your son. But let me just lay hands on him since you came out. Someone had a dream this morning. You saw me laying hands on you just this morning. Early this morning. I know people have this kind of dream. But someone specifically had that dream this morning. Father, heal this boy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, 
Look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. Very much. He will do mighty things through your life. Just be patient. Huh? Now is not the time of manifestation. Now is the time of building. But it is true that he will do mighty things through your life. Hold my hands. Father, do to her what she saw in the dream. In the name of Jesus. It will do something to your spirit. It's an awakening that is happening to you. break the chains of limitation over you now. I cast those chains. I set them on fire in the name that is above all names. May those chains be broken. And I separate you from error. There is a spirit of error that can come with zeal when it is misdirected. I separate you from error. You will be circumspect and you will only be accurate. In the name of Jesus. Where is Isaac in ushering? Is he around? It's time for you to step into a new level. The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing like a surgery being done on you. There is something that so badly keeps you from rising to the next level. And the Lord says, it's time I prune it. It's a desire. It's an appetite that he's killing because it does not come from him. He wants to do mighty things. Hold my hands. Kill that appetite, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let that live. Everything that does not name the name of Christ may it live. Come. This gentleman, you. It's time to respond to the dream you had. Come. These are wicked forces of darkness. Tying your life and your destiny down with delay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of God. That demonic dream and the experience that, had, that you had there, let it never return again. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever gives them legal access to your life is sealed and broken by the blood. The last person and then will just come my dear this lady no yes come you now yes let no man despise you for out of you will come a treasure let no one despise you. Let no one despise you. For out of you will come a treasure. The Lord says, I should tell you, there is this treasure that is hidden in earthen vessels. That the excellency power may be of God and not of God. Come, hold my hands. There is a fragrance that is coming upon your life from today. That will make you uncommon. Uncommon. Distinguished. For you love the Lord with your whole heart. You love the Lord with your whole heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that makes men despise, I curse it. I curse it. Hallelujah. Wow. Acts chapter 3. to your neighbor and say are you still here I just want to charge us a bit welcome everybody all those who came from far and near honor you glad to have you here you will never be the same now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour and a certain man lame from birth was carried 
whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple who seen Peter and John follow me closely about to go into the temple asked an arm and Peter fastened fastening his eyes upon him with John said look on us and this is the key verse verse 5 let's read together one to read and he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something expecting to receive something when he said look on us they paid attention because they were expecting that they were going to receive something. As I began to pray and say, Lord, what would I share with your people? The Lord said, the only thing I need from them is expectation. Expectation. Expectation is a proof of faith. Expectation is a proof that you trust God. Hallelujah. If you, if you tell me you are hungry and I dip my hands in my pocket automatically you begin to have a sign of expectation because you anticipate that I'm bringing out something. Is that true? And so you begin to position yourself to receive and say thank you. The only thing God is asking from you tonight is that you be expectant. Expect that sickness to leave your body. Expect that family captivity to come to an end. Expect the Lord to visit you. Expect to step into new levels of the anointing. Expect that no matter what the challenge is, the power of God can step into your life. It does not take time. It only takes the spirit of God. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is not, there is no liberty. I want you to know that the spirit of God is in this place tonight. And the only message the Lord asks me to communicate to you is that your heart be expectant expectant lord i expect to be healed i expect that you will wipe my tears i expect that this situation in my life will change at once i expect it i expect it do you believe do you expect that god will do something in your life god is already visiting people you do not imagine the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in to all of our meetings talk less of the miracle service so i want you to know that there is enough grace there is of enough anointing hallelujah right away we'll begin to pray and i'll just be moving in the anointing and god will minister to us please and please let your heart be expectant that's the only message the lord asked me to give us tonight expectation expectation expect that that which you wrote in your prayer request will be answered expect that that which you came don't see don't look at the situation just be expectant be expectant the greatest enemy to expectation is your past your history your track record of failure your track record of the seeming shortcomings of god so every time you expect you say but i prayed before but i fasted before It says forgetting the things that are behind forgetting what happened yesterday or what did not happen yesterday i press everyone say i press i press hallelujah rise up on your feet we're going to pray just for two to five minutes that's the only message the lord asked me to bring to us tonight expectation let there be a a depth of expectation in your heart lift your voice and cry to god and say lord i am expectant pray lord as your power moves and as your spirit is touching men, I am expectant. I came with a hunger. I came for a touch. I came for an encounter.
I came with an expectation. Hallelujah. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says, I should tell you, He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 He's opening you up to strange wisdom. Wisdom. That's what you are receiving. Wisdom. Strong wisdom. He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. That's what you need for the next level of your life. Wisdom. Tremendous wisdom. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. Lord, I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him. Strange order of wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wisdom in your decisions. Dimensions of wisdom. That you have never seen before you will make decisions that will accelerate your life accelerate ministry hallelujah in one minute mention everything you came with as a challenge and say lord the time has come for your grace and your power Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place, Shalom, Shalom, my Father, Shalom, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, Shalom. Jehovah, Shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom. hallelujah lift your hands lift your hands we are starting tonight with individuals that God is giving them breakthroughs every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the spirit at the count of three just those individuals one two three now now take it take it take it take it now that breaker anointing i release it right now right now right now right now all the ones separated for breakthrough 
breakthroughs right now inside and outside I release that breakthrough anointing that breakthrough anointing right now that breakthrough anointing right now shake it take it take it it comes like a mighty rushing wind the breakthrough anointing the breakthrough unction enough of that level enough of that dimension I speak it I declare it I prophesy it and I release it take it from your belly out of your belly let it gush like living waters out of your belly that breaker anointing in the name of Jesus out of your belly that breaker anointing breakthroughs 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 I end the struggle I end the struggle I end the struggle by the breakthrough anointing I end the struggle right now I end the struggle right now all over the building I end the struggle right now shaka ba 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 shaka ta ba 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 shaka ta ka ta em pro ta se ke te ele ke te bo so to ba para ta ri ke te bo lo se ke te se ke te ke te le ke te bo em pro ta ta da ka ti de bo sha se ke te le ko to sha haleluya haleluya everyone lay your hands on your stomach just lay your hands on your stomach hallelujah lay your hands on your stomach he said for out of your belly something will happen to some people right now out of your belly just keep your hands there father in the name of jesus where are the ones you are separating spiritual breakthroughs right now right now and right now from your belly from your belly from your belly from your belly in the name of Jesus out of your belly let it flow let it flow living waters living waters living waters new dimensions living waters skatata kapata rekete tekete bekata taboskata embratakata Shekete lekes from your innermost being, from your innermost being, from your innermost being, from your innermost being, a busting thought of new wine, a busting thought of new wine, a busting thought of new wine, a busting thought. Hallelujah. 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 Sabarada balada bakatia. There are people here right now. Listen. You came here because you are confused. There is no direction. You are trusting God for direction. You are prayed but there is nothing to do. You need direction desperately. Lift your hands. Lord, I pray wherever they are right now, by the light of the spirit, my Father locates them. Receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. Marital direction. Academic direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. By the light of God. By the illumination of the spirit. Direction. You will hear that voice. 
you will hear that voice you will hear that voice saying this is the way you will hear that voice saying this is the strategy you will hear that voice hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands the Lord wants to destroy marital delay this is what is happening right now marital just keep your hands just do what I'm telling you to do hallelujah now hear me there are people here who God wants to release them into their marital destiny but there are horns and powers that has kept them down you may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that but the enemy has done this lift your hands father in the name of jesus i release you right now i release you i release your family i release your sisters that power that has held your marital destiny hear the voice of the lord that power that has stopped marriage in your family i speak in the name of jesus be loose right now 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 hallelujah now lift your hands I'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit and so I know the Lord wants me to destroy barrenness 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 there is someone who came here with that situation I don't know if it's a couple or somebody you are expecting a miracle desperately let me have that one person come out. I'm going to pray for everybody right now, but we need to break that yoke right now. We need to break that yoke right now. There are families tied down. There are families tied down. When you identify that person, the person can come out. Lift your hands, let me pray. No, the Lord wants the family to come out first. Come out first. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courage and she packed her things and she left. We were married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no child. with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Look at how the devil steps in to destroy families. Eight years and is living because there is no child. But are you still in touch? Well, the church tried to call her. She didn't answer. So I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? friend come i need to pray for you may god bless you let's celebrate the friend hallelujah these are the kind of useful and relevant friends that god should bring in your life friend where are you may god bless you you're a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough do you believe your wife will come back yes sir you want her back yes sir. i'm going to pray for you your wife will return back Amen. forget about what has happened 
God will give you two boys, two girls. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. You are a good man and you love God. Not only that, what do you do? I work in an electronics company, Samsung. So when we add this issue of this marriage, they have to let go of me. But I have my own personal business in Kaduna, which I, know. I God is helping you. Yes, this marriage has destroyed too many things in your life. You've lost money. You've lost a lot of people. Even cars. Yes. Because I'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed. What is like? Things are going down. The Lord is going to restore you. Amen. you believe that? You believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined. The Bible says, let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabaka brothers of I release your destiny right now. In the name of Jesus. I call forth your wife into your life. And I open the fountains of fruitfulness. The Lord showed me two boys, two girls. And I release them to your life. This power that has tied you down and tied your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that it is released right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm holding your hands. And with these hands, may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known and i pray in the name of jesus that the lord will restore your fortune and he will bless you in the name of jesus christ friend come where are you from kaduna too zaria yeah. zaria here yeah. you came alone yes no i came with a friend what would you want the lord to do in your life marital breakthrough marital breakthrough yes what does that mean? Marriage or health in your marriage? Marriage. Marriage. When? This year. You believe it? Yes. Or you're just saying it? You have already spoken the word and it's happening. Let me pray for you. Father, you anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that before this year runs out. Your husband comes to you and may you be happily married. You will marry a godly man. May you marry a blessed man. One who will love you and fear the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. Now lift your hands and let me pray. I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean of fruitfulness in any aspect. He says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine have refused to bear fruit in different areas others want to bear fruit but the enemy has stopped it i pray for you right now every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness where are those people who barrenness have held their lives where are those people in the name of jesus let fire come upon you now let fire come upon you now. I destroy the hold of barrenness. Everywhere in this building. I break the chains of barrenness. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, can you lift your hands? Just this row. Just this row. Just keep your hands lifted. I see a wind blowing through this row. 
barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front back to the front back to the front there is no hiding back to the front there are many people in this room i break it right now i break it right now right now to the back from the back to the front 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness right to the back in the name of jesus be set free hallelujah now lift your hands I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils when the spiritual limitation is taken away then your life will move forward what will happen tonight is not just for you but for every family you represent so there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered not just for themselves but for their families and the families you represent lift your hands father in the name that is above all names i'm praying there are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives and lord it's time for them to go because this is mount zion now therefore i speak to every foul spirit every devil of darkness every yoke every territorial power that sits across territories i speak in the name of jesus by the authority of the lord jesus and i come under an apostolic anointing i bring every spirit under arrest and i command that you will live at the count of three now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus and they must leave you one two three second spirit husband every territorial power ancestral spirits that tie people and families come out now come out now come out now come out of god's people in the name of jesus bring them out in the name of jesus i cost those powers i cost those powers i cost those powers i cost those powers hallelujah lift your hands lift your hands i see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams make intercourse with them and destroy their lives keep those hands lifted lord where are those people let the sword of judgment find them now let the sword of judgment find them now let the sword of judgment Sisters, lift your hands. A spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother because with one sister there are many people that can become victims not because of immorality or anything it's just the nature the compelling character of women i pray right now anyone here whether you know it or not that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of god 
I pray and stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, let fire they, they come upon that is speaking to me that there are people here that start things but never finish there are families that start things you've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it lift your hands the finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now that grace to start and finish at the count of three is coming upon you for your destiny coming upon you for your family receive it right now one two three the finisher's anointing breaking the course of delay the finisher's anointing breaking the yoke of delay projects that have refused to finish projects that have refused to finish Hallelujah. I give the chase for the Falling, falling. I hear the I hear the Hallelujah. Now, for all those who came with sick people. You can march to the front now for prayer. Inside and outside. It's time to pray for the sick. Instrumentalists give us very anointed tunes. Worship team help us. While that is happening, if you've not written your prayer request, do that quickly. And in case you think you need to add something to it, please don't stop playing. While you're seated here, the power of God is visiting you so be in the spirit inside and outside no matter how far you are connect in the spirit you can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests there is a God that answers prayer Please make way for those who are coming out. Jesus is a healer. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. All of you who have come out I want you to wave goodbye to your infirmities and mean business with it hallelujah praise the Lord I want you to believe that Jesus still heals and he will heal you right now hallelujah we'll be very fast about it yep. just give her a chair
Hallelujah. All of you standing here, believe that Jesus will heal you right now. He will give us a sign. And the sign will be from one of you. Something will happen to one of you right now. And that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters. The power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now. When that happens, then it will allow us to pray for the sick. Right now. In abundance. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let there be miracles. I see miracles everywhere. Be discerning, be spiritual. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere right, right now. Right now, right now. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. I see miracles everywhere.
You understand English now? Conjuring Boca. Go back about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not once, not twice. Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a shrine. I'm seeing yes. concoctions. Yes, sir. I'm even seeing them pour something and they are yes, yes, drinking. Sir. Yes, sir. See, these are some of the things that you, when you know something is demonic. Don't add it with another. The devil will never heal you. It will backfire. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. He loves God. He loves God. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Selena, this is where we miss her. Talk to him. Tell him Jesus will heal you. Tell him she needs me. He can't walk well. Yeah? Hold on, don't worry. Ogasa, talk to him. You'll be interpreting him. Huh? Tell him in the name of Jesus. He will work well now. And that witchcraft attack will leave. Ask him if he believes. And tell him to go. What's this? The medical report? Father, this is why you anointed us. Every power that is not of God, I set you free from it right now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, you will walk normally by yourself. I release upon you the power that comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who have never seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Hallelujah. I feel the healing anointing coming upon you. Stomach bloated. Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come. happened to him now. Yes, 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 sir. yes let me tell you something it's not only settled i pray for you yes, that not only this will happen but god will use you to do this Amen. Same thing. receive that anointing right now in the name of the lord jesus christ baba tell him from today no witchcraft power no, no chance will paralyze and keep him again appreciate God go back to your seat God bless you oh, oh, oh.
as fresh as that of a baby. This thing is not because of guitar. This is witchcraft. The devil does not want you to play onto the glory of God. Oh, you if you want play, to play for a play. club now, this hand will be healed. The devil is a liar. You Hallelujah. That's how he keeps play robbing the church of potential people who worship God. Praise the Lord. You believe Jesus will heal you? All this. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. And the power of God will come upon you. You believe that? And then you move your whole hand and begin to try it. Say after me, Jesus. I believe. I believe. You're the son of the living God. You're the son of the living God. Right now. Right now. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Say it again. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Look at what is happening to his hands. 
cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move it. Go ahead, begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead, move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so stunned. You cannot even use it. Keep doing it. Keep shaking it. The power has gone and your hand recovers completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise. If we run to Him, He will run to us. If we lift our 
hands, He will lift us up. You're not Oh, you say oh, of God. God. Now we say it again. Call to him. He will answer us. He will run to him. He will run to us. He will lift our hands. He will lift our hands. Come now, pray. Praise his name. Oh, you say it's of God. Hey. Oh, sing for God. Through God. Oh, sing for joy. Oh, sing for sing for joy. Oh, sing for joy. We call to him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name, oh, you say it's of God. One time. If we call to him, he will run to us. If we run to him, he will run to us. He will lift our head. Oh, sing, oh, sing, God, oh, to God, God oh, sing, 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 oh, All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Hail your name, day by day. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. What the Lord has done, He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us victory. That's why we say, Oh, say, it. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us the victory. That's why we sing, Oh, say, I say, yeah. To go with the Baba, I say, yeah. I say, yeah. To go with the Baba, 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 I say, yeah. Jesus, I Jesus 
the Lord in the highest Hallelujah hey, Hallelujah 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 Praise the Lord Stretch your hands here and begin to just pray in the spirit Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come, O oh God. We have come before the mighty one. I'd like you to pray. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request represent the challenges of your people this request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny this requests threaten the advancement of your kingdom in our lives we pray in the name that is above all names that every request here be turned into a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ no matter how impossible the situation is oh god i pray that one by one, one by one, they will come and testify of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already for some, I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital. Labor has started for her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
this is a very prophetic moment please everybody inside and outside don't let anyone distract you now lift your hands as we speak hallelujah I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed the power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things please I want you to believe please I want you to believe no matter how far you are inside and outside I want you to believe hallelujah everything that represents limitation in your life everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny I come in the name of the Lord God the Lord God Almighty and I declare that in this month of May may that limitation be lifted up your life may that limitation be lifted up your life in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are whatever wrong advice whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid Makata katakata Seketeketebaka Emproto seketelekata Mankratos katabalatapa Rebeketeketeketebele devos I call them into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now hallelujah I pray for you this is the season where wisdom will be required for you to move to the next level listen the Bible says through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established through knowledge are the rooms filled with every treasurable thing wisdom for many of us is the key to the next level and this is not human wisdom it's not wisdom by scientific calculation strategies that are revealed of the spirit strategies that can take you in one day to realms that years have not brought you I pray the wisdom of the spirit may it come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ the wisdom for the next dimension the wisdom for the next dimension the wisdom for the next dimension receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah one of the keys to a life of stagnation is confusion lack of direction there's nothing as terrible as a man who is clueless about what to do it can be frustrating when you are clueless you are at the middle of an ocean and you don't know what to do but there is the spirit of counsel and mind the, the dimension of the operation of the spirit that comes and speaks peace to you in the name that is above all names I pray for you that every decision you need to make every direction that you need to take for this second half of your life to truly be the year of the rain I release upon you that dimension of the spirit of counsel and might marital direction financial direction academic direction career direction no more confusion no more confusion no more confusion
Hallelujah. I pray for you. Part of the keys to stepping into the blessings of the Lord is the ability for your eyes to see opportunities. Hagar, listen, Hagar was in a place. It was a desert, but there was water. Her eyes could not see it. But when the angel of the Lord appeared unto her, suddenly she saw water. I pray you have been passing what can bless you and you have not been seeing it in this month of May. The anointing that opens the eyes of men to opportunities that can bless you. I release it upon you now. I release it upon you now. Where men see obstacles, may you see opportunities. Where men see stumbling blocks, may you see stepping stones. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Fear has kept many people from moving forward. Fear of everything. Fear of death fear of failure fear of taking action fear of moving even when god says move you say i'm afraid start that business i'm afraid take a step to marry i'm afraid do this i'm afraid move on further i'm afraid i pray for you in the name of jesus every manifestation of fear every manifestation of fear that has kept your ego on the line that will not allow you soil your hand in destiny to make progress that keeps you from being afraid every manifestation of fear that gives you a feeling of being embarrassed to take a step i cause that fear now i cause that fear now i cause that fear now when they got to the red sea they were afraid and when moses went before the lord he said tell the people to move forward the signs don't go before you they follow you you will have to take a step as a sign that you trust god take the step and die taking it let it be that it was god that killed you there is no man that took a step in the name of the lord that did not return with a testimony for some may trust in horses Others may trust in chariots. But for us, we trust in the name of the Lord. And everything we do in the name of the Lord. He said, whatsoever you do in word and in deed. Do it in the name of the Lord. I pray for you again. Fear has stopped millionaire businesses from starting up. Fear has stopped people from applying in places, high places. They think they are not qualified. Fear has stopped many of us. Fear has stopped you from starting the building project. Who said you are too young? So long as God gives you the signal. There are some of us. All of us are adults in our house. But our parents cannot boast of even a simple bungalow. Because of fear. You have 10,000. Go and buy a trip of sand and pour it on the ground and leave it here. Tell the devil I'm coming. Look let me tell you. You will never break through in life till you take the attitude of if I perish I perish I pray the boldness the audacity the strength the audacity to ride through without exhaustion to ride through without fear I release it upon you right now I release it upon you right now I pray for your academics. Shekete palabata. The ten times better anointing. Ma teke 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 ta. Shekete lepa. The distinguishing anointing. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. Listen. Anyone here. Or any family here that the devil is eyeing for death that is saying you will not see the next month or the end of this year I declare 
by the mystery of the blood the last card the hallmark of God's victory I judge the manifestation of death over your life I judge the manifestation of death over your family you will travel out and come back safe no armed robber will get you on the road no terrorist will attack you on the road when others say there is a casting down it will never be your testimony for you it will be that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus I pray over your finances the grace to pay the price now and to pay the price early for a glorious financial future I release it every spirit of laziness every spirit of carelessness every spirit of lukewarmness every inertia every reluctance to begin to take appropriate financial decisions especially for the brothers I cause it to his root now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those trusting God for a miracle job I tell you the truth when the hand of the Lord upon you is upon you there will be a door that is open some of you are standing in for yourself and some for your loved ones I pray in the name that is above all names may God give them supernatural jobs jobs that they will be proud of in the name of Jesus and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren it's one thing to be rich is one thing to be blessed but it's another thing to be honored honor is not something that money can buy i pray for you that mantle of honor that makes you distinguished and rewarded everywhere you go i release it upon you right now your superiors will honor you your contemporaries will honor you your subordinates will honor you even your enemies will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for everything that has died or is dying here I don't care what it is projects that have died ideas that have died dreams that have died I speak to you in the name of Jesus come back to life come back to life visions that have died assignments that have died passions that have died strengths that have died I call it back to life in the name of Jesus every voice you have heard that has killed your dreams every voice you have heard that has killed your potentials the voice of your past the voice of your failure the voice of mediocre the voice of limitation I silence those voices from your life I silence those voices from your life I pray for every ministry represented here greater grace and greater glory greater grace and greater glory I pray for every business represented here greater grace and greater glory I pray for every job represented here greater grace and greater glory I pray for every family represented here greater grace and greater glory I pray for every destiny represented here greater grace and greater glory greater grace and greater glory greater grace and greater glory the Bible says thou anointest my head with oil and it makes my cup to run over there is an anointing that comes upon your head that translates into increase in your life thou anointed my head with oil and that oil makes my cup my source of supply to run over I pray for you the anointing that will give you wisdom the anointing that will give you creativity the anointing that will give you ideas insight concepts strategies for wealth I release it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you in a name that is above all names every habit every issue every challenge every weight on your life that is eating up your Christian integrity that is eating up your walk with God you love God but there are weights in your life that keep drawing you back to the way of sin I pray for you 
the hand of the Lord lifts you out of that nonsense the grace of God picks you out of that limitation grace to say no to every appearance of evil grace to say no to everything that is ungodly in the name of Jesus Christ I pray a special prayer for our brothers I curse in your life the spirit of irresponsibility one more time I curse from your life and your vicinity every spirit that refuses you from rising as a man that you are that entitlement mentality that makes you think someone else is responsible for your success I curse that mindset in the name of Jesus from today I release upon you grace grace to rise and take up the challenge of manhood in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you you will not need to defend yourself the Lord God Almighty will be your defense the Lord will anoint you in such a way that even your enemies will walk towards your progress in the name of Jesus I prophesy restoration for everything you have lost restoration 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus and I pray for you a new dimension in the spirit a new level of prayer grace a new level of word grace a new dimension of encounters with the spirit of God where you are becoming lukewarm where you are losing the initial standard of your Christian experience where you are already bending bending against the things that would make you powerful I pray for a restoration for you where you have lost the voice of the spirit I command that you be to hear his voice again where you have lost zeal for the house of God I command a restoration for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I pray for you all through the remaining part of May into June let it be a month of testimonies for you beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus Christ all those who have been looking for you to bless you may this be the season they find you all those who have received instructions from God to hold your hands and lift you up with no strings attached but have not been able to find you I pray listen listen Samuel had already been ordained I mean Saul ordained to be a king but he needed to find Samuel and they kept searching and he could not find Samuel until by the wisdom of God they were able to find him you can be one anointing away from the next level of your life you can be one prophetic impartation away you can be one destiny helper away I pray again for you whoever has been looking for you like the lost ass of Samson of, of Saul whoever has been looking for you to bless you and has not found you may this be the season they find you in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you nothing will rob your joy this month this will be the month of June will be for you a month of joy and laughter in the name of Jesus Christ before miracle service next month most of all your prayer requests would have been turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting hallelujah now keep standing everybody you're here and you need to return back to Jesus Christ keep standing everyone you've heard the word of the Lord and you know that you need to make it right with Jesus maybe this is the first time you are running to Jesus genuinely to commit your life to him or you've once given your life to Jesus and you've seen that you are derailing and you need to make it right tonight we will not end this meeting without giving you an opportunity
to make Jesus Lord of your life or rededicate your life, wherever you are, make your way to the front right now. We have one minute for this. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't wait for anybody to be the first to come. Make your way. God bless you. God bless you. They are coming inside and outside. Celebrate them, Koinonia. God bless you as you come. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed. He will give you a new beginning. And he will supply grace. That you will go higher and higher. Higher and higher. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Run to Jesus. Keep coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Don't sit back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming to make a decision for Jesus. Just raise your right hand and repeat after me consciously and from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. This is, this is a confession that brings salvation unto you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I declare from today that you are my Savior and you are my Lord. I receive of your life. I receive of your spirit. And I declare that from today, my sins are washed away. I am a brand new person. The hand of God is upon me. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is not of God, I take authority over it. I receive grace from God to live a victorious Christian life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. I want to congratulate you for making this decision. It's the best decision you can make. This decides your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details. They will welcome you more warmly. And then, we'll communicate to you through them. God bless you. This way. Draw that baby. Baby, this way. No, 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 no. All those who are worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time being here worshipping with us at Koinonia, please make your way to the front. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. Celebrate them as they come. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Come on, Koinonia. You can do better than this. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.